Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about the value of the most common coins we use in the United States. Penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. So if you've watched our last videos, we worked with pennies, nickels, and dimes, but we haven't quite worked with quarters in addition to the other coins. So what we're going to do now is we are going to find out how to add coins up in order to find their total value. In my opinion, the easiest way to do this is start with the largest value and work our way down. So if you pull out your worksheets, the first problem, look, I remade your worksheet up here on the board. Your first problem looks like this, where you have a combination and you have a different order. But let's move these coins around a little bit. So I'm gonna put my pennies at the end because they're only worth one cent. I'm putting the quarter in the front and I'm gonna take this dime and put it in the middle. Now, if you remember, each of these coins have two sides. The dime can be flipped around, but it's worth the same value no matter what side we work on. So, how much was a quarter worth? That's right, 25 cents. Okay, and now we're adding one dime, which is 10 cents. And then we're adding three pennies. Well, the great thing about pennies is that since they're each worth one cent, the number that you have is the number of cents we have. And now we're adding them all up together. 25 plus 10 is, so 25 plus 10 is 35, and three more makes 38 cents. How was that? Good. So now let's look at this one. This one's a little harder because we have two quarters. So we're gonna take these two quarters and pull them off to the side. And I'm gonna put all my pennies all together in this corner and the nickel in the middle. And if you guys remember, how much is a nickel worth? Five cents. How much are my pennies worth? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six six cents, and two quarters. Well, each one is worth 25. So 25 cents and 25 cents makes, well, that's 10, carry the one, 50 cents. And now let's add them all up. So 50 plus five is 55. 55 plus 6, 5 plus 6 is 11, carry the 1, 5 plus 1 is 6. So in total we have 61 cents. That's it. Great job guys. Okay, and for the last problem, this one's already organized for us, but I'm just going to make some space here. So how much money do I have in quarters? right 25 cents and in dimes 10 20 30 we can count by tens so we have 30 cents in dimes and we have one cent in pennies so now when we're adding 25 and 30 25 and 30 makes 5 plus 0 is 5 and 2 plus 3 is 5 so we have 55 cents 55 cents and one more cent is 56 cents. And that's it, we have 56 cents in total. So I want you guys to try your independent worksheets on your own. Let me know if you need any help. Bye.